Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how's everything? Hello, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How is everything, people? ¿Qué tal como fue su día? Is everything okay? Good. Nice. Good. Good good day. Good teacher. No, okay, I mean that's that's nice. It's a day product productive. A very productive day. I mean that's nice to hear. Yes. That's really cool to hear. Okay, so we are going to start, you know, uh, with the contents that we are going to be discussing tonight. Oh, I got the camera off. Jesus Christ, what happened? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Okay, so I guess, uh, let me see. Yeah, many more people are just missing. Okay, good, but we're gonna start, it's just 8.01 already. So I am going to start with the attendance list in order to start, you know, with the work that we're gonna be doing tonight. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, mister. Good evening. Hi, good evening. What? What is going on with this attendance list? Okay. It is right up to here. Okay, good. Let's just start over. Ana Carmina. Is Ana Carmina. Present teacher. Okay. Good. Thank you, Miss. Augusto Cesar. Good night, teacher. Hi, good evening. Carlos Ernesto. Hmm, okay, so he's not here yet. Elizabeth Joanna. Present. Ah, okay, good. Is it me or you're sick? I I heard I heard your voice a little bit different. <laughs> you're sick. Es que he estado, he estado peor de... Oh. De la garganta. Por eso oh. no pude estar ayer porque tenía fiebre. Really? Sí, estaba oh. bien mal, la verdad. <coughs> Ahora yo ando robotizada. <laughs> yeah, man, and now it's not uh, Miguel. Oh, I don't know if Miguel is still like that. <laughs> okay. Good. So let's continue. <laughs> Evelyn Jamilet. Present. Ah, okay, good. Good evening, good evening Miss. Uh, Fredis Eliseo. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, miss. So, Fredis is not here. Freddy yeah. Ernesto. Mm, okay, so he's apparently there, but okay. It is Daniela. Okay, so she's not here. Jacqueline Janet. I guess she's not here. Karim Janet. Ah, okay, very good. What is going on here? Good evening. Hi, good evening. Give me one second. Can you see here? Oh, yeah. Man. Liliana Laura. Present teacher. Okay, good. Maria Isabel. Present teacher. Okay, good. Maria Leticia. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Marvin Oswaldo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so Marvin is not here. Miguel Ángel. Good 
present teacher. Ah, ok. Good. Rafael Alejandro. Present teacher. Ah, ok. Good. Rudy Alexander. Ok, so he's not here. Sonia Elizabeth. Jesus Christ, a lot of people are missing tonight. Wilber Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, good. And we got the last one, Wilson Hernaldo, which is not here anymore. Okay, good. So we are going to start, you know, with the contents that we're going to be discussing uh, tonight, people. But before doing that, if you remember, yesterday we were working in a couple of activities, all right? that we did not finish and we told yesterday that the practice will be done tonight right at the beginning of the class okay so i would like to, we to start with that and obviously with a short you know uh review or feedback about the main things that we were discussing so, guys, what was the topic that we were discussing last class? Let's start over with that. What was the main topic that we were discussing yesterday night? Uh-huh. For the ones who got connected last night, what was the topic from last night? How to use imperatives. Ah, okay. Thank you, Freddy. All right, there you go. We were discussing the uses of imperatives. And what is an imperative? Can somebody tell me what is an imperative? <clears throat> Let me see. I'm gonna do something. Para que no nos sintamos ahí presionados o culpables por mencionar a alguien. Okay. A ver, deme. Ah, I mean, Leticia is the first one. Okay, cool. Go, Leti. Go. Son comandos. Bueno, lo diré en español. Comandos o para dar una orden. Mm -hmm. O instrucciones. En el aire. And direct instru instruction Directing. or order uh -huh. to do something. No, something. To do something. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. There you go. Thank you, Leticia. You say your classmates. Remember, people, a command or an imperative, it's basically when you give a direct instruction to someone for doing something for example if i tell uh elizabeth hey elizabeth turn on the microphone what am i doing i am giving a command an instruction to elizabeth to do something okay if I tell, for example, Rafael, hey, Rafa, participate in the class. What am I doing in that case? Remember, I am giving an instruction. So that instruction, it's called a command or the, 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 the very formal way, an imperative. Okay. So let's remember, it's going to be uh, like this. If you remember, check this out. It's like, if I have in here an imperative, if I write in here, give me one second. Imperative that's equal to command, okay? And what is a command? A command is equal our order, an order. 
right? So in that case, if you remember, a command, remember, doesn't have a subject. It just has a verb and then the complement of that. That's it. Okay? <clears throat> like this. Like open the door. Go to work. Write reports. Uh, do your home on time. You see? Participate in the class. So you see, all of these ones are imperatives or commands or if you want to call it, orders. All right? Now, how can I do this type of commands more polite? Can somebody tell me how can I do these imperatives more polite and formal? Hmm? How can we do that? Tell me, how can we do that? The, chair, the yes. order the order is a specific for person. Yes, exactly. It's a specific for a person that you're uh, only, talking to. Only singular or, or two plural? No, in this case, it's only for first person. That's you with another person, okay? In here, we are not going to put this type of uh, structures with S. Okay, the bird in here is not going to be modified. In here, it's just directly to one specific person. Okay, like if I tell you, a hey, hey, Wilbur, participate in the class. That is directly to you. Okay, mm -hmm. so in that case, I cannot provide a command to you mentioning another person because that's not correct. Okay, so that's why if you take a look in here, these type of structures over here, they don't have a subject. They don't have a pronoun, okay? So that's why they are going like this. The verb, if you see, it goes in the base form, base form, not with third person form. Okay, Wilbur? Uh, okay. Yeah, it, it's a strike to a person. Okay, this type of comments in here, it's just a strike to the person. All right, acá con este tipo de, de, de verbos uh, o de comandos en este caso, recuerden, va directamente hacia una persona a la que nos estamos dirigiendo. Acá no vamos a hablar de un comando hacia una persona mencionando otra. Okay, por lo general, este tipo de estructuras, eh, el verbo siempre va a ir en forma base. ¿Por qué? Porque por lo general no hablamos de una tercera persona, sino que eh, este tipo de instrucción va directamente hacia una persona en específico. Ok. That's the way how they work. Good. ¿Cómo lo podemos hacer más formal? If you remember yesterday, ¿qué palabra le agregamos ayer para hacerlo más polite, más educado? Please. 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 Ah, okay, very good. Is that correct if I put this one? Okay. Uh -huh. No. La coma. ¿Dónde va la coma? Try coma, please. Ah, okay, good. If you remember in here, I put a comma. What happened in here? Just, just, just imagine if I got this one over here. Take the hat. In here, that's what happens, right? 
Y here that's Pichón what happened. Casi no se le entiende por el ruido que hay. Lo siento. Let me see. Let me see. Who got the, the, the noise? Let me see. Permítame expandir la pantalla. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody's with the camera. Oh. Okay, good. Check this out, guys. Check this one out. Remember, if we put please at the beginning of the sentence, we don't need a comma. But if we put please at the end, a comma has to separate the word from the rest of the command. What happened in this case with these two sentences over here? They are more polite or in a somehow kind of more formal, okay? Why? Because we are asking for, for something in a very, very, very formal or polite way, all right? Just by adding the word, please, okay? So let's remember, this, this was basically what we were just discussing uh, last night, okay? Uh, I don't know, guys, if you have any question. No sé si me he dado a entender para los que no estuvieron ayer en la clase. Y no me vayan a salir con sí. No me vayan a salir con sí, teacher, sí, no entendí nada, pero sí, sí, todo genial, todo claro. Are we understood? Are we understanding this? And that goes yes, for... Ah, uh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, my you, you, you were here, Miguel. Vamos a repasar la clase de ayer. Okay. Now, listen, listen up, guys. This type of a structure is just basically the kind of a structure that we generally uh, use every day. Nosotros todos los días damos una especie de comando u orden a alguien, ya sea en nuestro trabajo o ya sea en casa. All right. For example, Elizabeth, who do you live with? ¿Con quién vive usted? Con mis padres y mi hermano. Ay, yo creí que iba a decir con mi esposo y todo. Okay, Ay, no. good. Ay, no. No, 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 okay, no. good, good. <laughs> okay, listen, listen up. ¿Qué tipo de órdenes o instrucciones, por ejemplo, le dan sus papás a usted? La verdad es que ninguna, creo yo, o no sé. ¿Estás segura? Sí. Nunca le han dicho, Elizabeth, cierra la puerta. Elizabeth, apaga la luz. Elizabeth, váyase a dormir ya. No puedo, que eso sí. Elizabeth, haga la limpieza. So you see, esos son considerados imperatives or commands. Okay. Okay. ok, en la cual nosotros damos una especie de orden a alguien, ok, o usted, a su hermano, ¿verdad? Right? Uh, sí. ve, ve por las tortillas, ¿verdad? Right? Sí. Ahí sí. sí. <laughs> ok, so you see, uh, all those type of, uh, of instructions are basically imperatives. A eso se les conoce como imperativos, ok, y que es un imperative, básicamente dar un, una orden o una instrucción a alguien para que haga algo, ¿ok? That was basically the whole class about yesterday night, ¿ok? So, entonces, en eso radica en la palabra imperative, en dar una instrucción o una orden a alguien que haga algo. Y por lo general, en este tipo de oraciones, no colocamos ningún pronombre, o, o sea, ningún sujeto al principio. Solo es el verbo que va a indicar la acción y el complemento para hacer la acción más específica. All right? That's, that's all we were just doing. Okay? Good. So, vamos bien por acá? Are we understanding what was the class about yesterday night? Yes or Solo no? Como, 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 como un poquito más de... Para, para mí, ¿verdad? Yo creo que todavía lo entendieron. Pero... Ajá. Dijo que el verbo en los eh, mandos eh, imperativos, el verbo no se modifica, se mantiene en su forma base y no se puede 
eh, decir a segunda persona el singular. ¿verdad? Más a una, a una tercera persona. Sí se puede. O sea, yo puedo decirle, yo, yo por ejemplo, puedo, puedo decirle, eh, no, 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 olvídelo, ya en mi cabeza sonó diferente. ¿Verdad? <risa> Supongamos sí. que usted a su hija, o hija o hijo, I don't remember, hija, ¿verdad? ¿Hijo? Hijo. Ah, yes. ok, cool. How old is your son? ¿Cuántos años tiene? Nine. Nine, ok, cool. Supongamos que usted le dé una orden a su hijo que, 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 que vaya dirigido a su esposo. Suponiendo que es una tercera persona, ¿ok? Un comando hacia una tercera persona. Ok. All right. Good. Sí. ¿Cómo le diría? De, de, deme un ejemplo de un comando que le diría usted a su hijo o una orden a su hijo para que ese, eh, eh, su hijo llegue y le diga, papi, dice mami esto y esto, y que hagas esto, esto y esto. Eh, tal vez sería... En que a tu papá que le dé que te dé pista. En, en, es, en español, Haga, hagámoslo en español para que los demás tengan la idea esa. Ok. Ok. Decirle a tu papá que ya está la cena. Es la, la que más uso. Ok, good. Ahora, people, people, ahora, transformenme ese, ese command en inglés. Dile a tu papá que ya está la cena. ¿Cómo sería? Please say your dad. No. Ahí va como un posesivo. Ah. Yes, pero. Tell your dad. Tell your dad that dinner is ready. Thank you, mister. Podemos poner el please al principio si queremos ser más educados. Please. Tell your dad the dinner is ready. Pero si ven acá, a pesar de que este comando es hacia una tercera persona que va dirigido para que lo ejecute, ¿cómo va el verbo principal acá? Base form. Va base form, right? ¿Y por qué va en base form? Porque en sí, en sí, el comando o la orden se la está dando al niño para que el niño repita esa información a el papá. Entonces, por lo tanto, aquí entra la lógica que les dije anteriormente. No podemos dar un comando en tercera persona. ¿Ok? Para modificar el verbo con una S, ES, IES. ¿Ok? Entonces, el verbo y el complemento tiene que ir en base form. Bueno, el verbo. Teacher, teacher. Yes. what is the structure for giving... Order in the plural. No, man, it's basically the same thing. It's the same. For example, just imagine. Supongamos que ahorita a mí se me va el internet y estamos a punto de irnos a trabajar. Ok. Y de repente no me carga el, el Zoom en el teléfono. All right. Y le mando un mensaje, no sé, a uh, Carlos, for example. Y le digo, check this out. Hey, Carlos. Tell uh, to your classmates. Okay. All right. Okay. To work in page 27, for example, from the manual. You see, in here, I'm talking about a plural form. Aquí yo estoy dando una instrucción a un grupo de personas, o sea, a todos ustedes. Ok, pero si ve el verbo, el verbo en forma base. ¿Qué es lo único que se modifica? A quién va dirigido. ¿Por qué? Porque como es un grupo de personas, it's a plural form, aquí la palabra classmate tiene que ir modificada, o sea, en plural. But that's the only plural form that goes there. You see? Entonces, esa es la forma. Entonces, ¿a, a, ¿a qué vamos con esto? Ya sea tercera persona o ya sea un plural, el verbo siempre va a mantener su no, forma base. No hay ninguna forma de cambiar. 
No lo change. único que cambia, exacto, lo único que cambia que es, si ve acá, ¿a Eso quién va dirigido? Ajá. ¿A quién va dirigido el comando el para que se ejecute? Exactly. exactly. Ahí pudiera ser classmate, coworker. Exactly. Whatever person you, you uh, send the message to. Exactly. Your classmates, your coworkers, your uh, lovers, your whatever person you want to talk about. You see, I mean, in that case, you can change it there depending on the person that you're talking about. All right. But something that you have to remember is that the verb has to go in base form. All right. El verbo siempre va a ir en tercera, I mean, en, en forma base. Nada de terceras personas. Okay. Good. ¿Estamos claros acá? Are we clear with this? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Yes, teacher. Yes, nice. teacher. I love that. Cool. Now, guys, do you remember the homework, basically, that we were... Uh, not homework, because you did it already yesterday. Uh, the activity that we didn't finish last night. So, it's time for you to read what you got from yesterday's uh, activity and I'm gonna start with uh, let me see who was in here yesterday night Anna I'm gonna start with you Anna can you please read for me the commands that you wrote about your classmate okay teacher um, come on the classmate uh, please uh, prepare report okay uh, uh, before before you start with that who were you working with? With me, teacher. Ah, with Carlos. Ah, okay, perfect. Ah, sí. go. Yes. <laughs> okay, go. Carlos, go. Uh -huh. uh, please check people's attendance. Así se pronuncia, teacher. People's attendance, okay. Attendance, eso. Please call department head. Okay. Uh, Please be at the meeting at 7 o'clock a.m. Please help me carry the checks. Okay. And please check the movements of the bank. Okay, the movements of the bank or the bank's movements. All right, okay. both can be possible. Thank you, Anna. Now, Carlos, tell me what kind of instructions my Anna uh, say or receive. Okay, uh, good evening. Good evening. Uh, number one, please, for organize each meeting at 9 a.m. Organize second meeting, sentence, right? Organize. Yes, okay. organize meeting. Good. And the number two, uh, please type a report. Uh, number three, please uh, order five. Other files. Okay. Number four. Yes. Please uh, do call of the client. Mm -hmm. Number five. Uh, please call the minister. Okay. And number six. Uh, please e email me the monthly report. Okay. Email me the monthly report. Report. Okay. Very Report. Good. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you to you both. You did it excellent. Okay. Now let's continue with this. Liliana, who are you working with? Okay. No problem. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Ah, leave yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Okay. Ah. Um, super basic concept, please. Ah, pero con mi compañera que fue, le digo, ¿quién lo hizo? Yeah, who are you working with? Estaba Freddy y Rafael también. Que se agregó um, el bien. Okay, all right, yeah. Vaya. Ajá, y super basic concept, please. Uh, please check email. Okay. 
Esta es la primera. Y please check the email. Después go to. Perdón, que le puse. Ah, go to system work, please. Um, please order contract. Y go to review clean, please. clientes, please. Clients. 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 Ay, clients. Okay. Okay. There you go. Those ones are the ones that you got. Freddy's, what about yours? Yes. Um, las primeras cuatro son de Liliana y las otras dos son de Rafa. Okay. Uh, the first cool. one. Supervise pressure of water, please. Okay. Please clean in this area. All right. Put products in the water, please. Okay, good. Give me a report of water, please. Uh, call the clients, please. And check these clients in the platform. Check this client in the platform. Yes. Okay. There you go. Good. Rafa, what about yours? Okay, teacher. Um, come on. Uh, Liliana, please send an email. Freddy's, please call to clients in the morning. Liliana, please revise the order. Liliana, please revise. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Look up the other bit. Sorry. Uh, Freddy's, please active a meeting. Oh, no. Active a meeting? No, organize a meeting. Organize a meeting. At 10 a.m. At okay. 10 a.m. Um, sorry, pero no entiendo por qué se me copiaron repetidos, teacher. Sorry. Sorry, tengo dos, dos, dos repetidos, así que, que puse lo mismo. Pero no entiendo quizá dónde guardé el, el archivo. ¿Really? Sí, yes. Le, le ok, ok, no problem, no problem with that. By the way, ya, yeah, men, usted prácticamente llegó como unos tres minutos antes de que terminara todo, ¿verdad? Ya, yeah, now I remember. Ya, yeah, men, I Sorry. remember. No problem with that. Ok, good. Ahora leave it like that. Thank you to you three guys. You did it excellent. Now we're going to continue with that. Uh, Elizabeth, Flores, who were you working with? Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you today? <laughs> happy, man. Happy. Very my sleepy, class... but happy. Okay, excellent. Yes, man. My Everybody. My is Rudy. Hello, Rudy. Good evening. Hey. Hey, Rudy. Ah, yeah, man, Rudy. Hey, what's up, Rudy? Are you there? Hello. Hello. Good evening. I am. Mean, he's there. Okay. El que no, el que no se deja ver. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sonia, let's go. A saber qué oculta, Elisa, teacher. A saber qué oculta. Nada, nada. Oculto nada. Ok. And the number one is, please check the employee. Number two, please report the work. Take the time, the employee, please. Take your free time, please. Clean your work, art, please. Check the Inventory, please. Inventory. Your work area, you mean? Okay. There you go. Those ones are the ones that you got. Okay, thank you, Elizabeth. Now, Rudy. Um. And write the legal document, please. Okay. Give me user report, please. Check the legal document, please. You, you... You have this presentation in the meeting, please. Give me a legal opinion, please. Send send this solution. Send this resolution, please. Send a resolution, please. Okay. Resolution. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Those ones are the ones that you have. Okay, good. Thank you, Rudy, and thank you, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, do you work in a heart in a courthouse? Excuse me, teacher. No, no, forget about it. Ya le iba a decir, trabaja en un juzgado que es legal things. No, lo que pasa es que veo el área, el área legal y vemos todos los procedimientos sancionadores, o sea, todo es legal, resoluciones. Yes, pero ya me acordé que es en la, el área de la alcaldía, ¿verdad? All the legal sí, entonces, things, todo documents el... and everything. Sí, todo ah, es legal. Okay. Nice, man, nice. 
Okay, good. Thank you to you both guys for your participation. Now let's continue with this. Oh, we're here yesterday night. Jesus Christ, I got a bad memory. Karim, who were you working with? Hello. Hi. Sería uh, check the fabric. Please check the counter. Uh, please check the email. Okay. We check my card to box. Okay, good. Uh, do you remember who are you working with? No está el compañero, no lo veo conectado y no me acuerdo cómo se llama. Yo también, I mean, I, ya me acordé que, que, que estuvo con alguien, pero... I mean, it's true. I don't, I don't remember his name. Jesus Christ. Let me see if I remember. Pero no, no lo veo conectado. I think, I think it is, uh, no, I don't remember. I don't know, but, but yeah, I mean, I know who you're talking about. Jesus Christ. Okay. Thank you, Karim. Yeah. And he's not connected okay. yet. He's not here yet. Okay. Who's next? Leticia, did you participate already? Ya participó? I don't know. I don't know. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> now you're not okay who were you working with yesterday Miguel Angel ah, okay cool that's good <clears throat> a ver si lo hice bien review results please review the results please okay and please request request report request report okay. request report Send email, please. Okay. Coordinate, coordinate lunch hours, please. Coordinate lunch hours, please. Okay, good. Be aware of meetings. Be aware of meetings, okay. Check your emails, please. Okay, there you go. Check your email. Okay. That's all you got? Okay, very good. Miguel. <laughs> yes, I'm here, teacher. Let's go. Um, uh, the number one is please attend client. All right. Attend client. Uh, please call your coworker. Uh, please pass to patient. Uh, please check a is this receipt or, re or re receipt? Receipt. receipt? Okay, please check uh, a receipt. Uh, clean to shelf. Uh, open the pharmacy, please. Yes, it's all. Okay, open the pharmacy or the drugstore, right? Yes. Drugstore. Okay. Drugstore. <laughs> No, bien así como que drug de droga, store de tienda, tienda de droga. Ah, bueno, es ok, good. Uh, I think it's, that's, that's, that's going to be the last pair, right? Because Elizabeth Catota was not here yesterday, Maria Isabel neither. Wilbert, were you here? Yeah. You were as a part, as a listener yesterday night, right? Yes, uh, but I participate now okay let's go uh, uh, make this duplicate uh, go go to open the car okay go to open the car the uh, car door uh, right la puerta del carro yes yeah because you uh, open the because car he's, because he's uh, dentro inside Ah, okay, because he is the person is inside. Okay. Inside. Re repair this look. Okay. Lock. Lock. All right. Lock. Have lunch now. All right. And That's enter the la enter the labels. 
Labels. Labels. Okay. Labels. Enter the labels. Okay. There you go. Those ones are. That's my favorite part of the day, man. When I say, like, you may have lunch now. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. So that's it. Thank you for your participation, guys. Remember, uh, what was the topic that we were discussing? Okay. Uh, every command that we generally give, remember, we have to give it in base form. Okay. In base form. Keep that on mind. Now we're going to go up with the topic that we are going to be discussing tonight. And it's going to be this one. I think it's the third today. Okay, good. What is tonight's topic? Tonight's topic is how to use have to and need to. And before I start in this, what is have to for you guys? Do you have any idea about this expression? Is tener que. Ah, okay, good. And need to? Necesitar. Que necesitar algo. Okay, there Como you go. Necesito que o necesito hacerlo. Okay, very good. I need to very learn good. English. Okay, another question. In what situations do you think I can use have to or has to, for example? I have to organize, uh, organize a meeting. A meeting? Uh, yes, yes, that would be a kind of a correct uh, sentence, but... What I'm trying to ask is like, in what situations or when do I need to use have to? Para que utilizo have to? En que situaciones? Alguna idea? Um, El... Tengo que, eh, es cuando, es una situación de, um, a mí se me ocurre que puede ser en una situación en donde yo esté haciendo una actividad y necesite, por un ejemplo, alguna herramienta o, o algún objeto. Mm. Ese es el que podría ser el mío. Es como cuando tengo una tarea, teacher, algo así, como que necesito hacer una tarea. Correcto. Sería como algo que se tiene que hacer eh, como en el momento o en el mismo día y el otro como que lo puedes dejar como para después, posiblemente porque como que lo necesitas, pero no lo harás ahorita. ¿Qué se tiene que hacer ya? Mm. Ok, good. Kind of, kind of like that. Ya vamos aterrizando ahí más o menos. Ok, listen up guys. Ya vamos a ver. Teacher, es, es como una exigencia. Vamos aterrizando aún más todavía. Okay, good, good. Like that. All right, this is, this is the things that we got for the rest of the class. Uh, okay, vamos a lo que nos interesa. Listen up, guys. Have to. Es casi un poco de todo lo que han dicho. Have to o has to. Recuerden que has to es para el uso de las terceras personas. Is used to express certainty, necessity, and obligation. All right, certainty. ¿A qué nos referimos con certainty? Certeza de algo. Ok. Aunque en este aspecto me, yo lo puse acá porque igual es bueno que lo sepan desde un principio, pero a, acá este, esta estructura la vamos a utilizar más que todo con la última, la última función que tiene, que está explícita eh, ahí. Va, ah, miren. Certainty, necessity, and obligation, que esto es básicamente lo que vamos a, a, a digamos que va a ser la, la función principal que vamos a ver obligation, have to es básicamente una estructura que me sirve a mí para hablar de obligaciones de algo que sí o sí tengo que hacer, ya sea en el instante ya sea mañana, ya sea la otra semana, ok, whatever thing, eh, in whatever time but the thing is that 
is an obligation. Remember that. Okay? You are obligated to do it. Sure. Yes. It's like paying taxes. Yeah, like kind of pay paying taxes. So like kind of you got to work. <clears throat> right? Todos sabemos acá que si vamos a trabajar es por qué. <laughs> Porque es Por nuestra mercy. obligación, right? It's an obligation. If we don't work, what happened? We don't have money. And if we don't, we don't have, have money. money. And if we don't have money. No, no. Es, es, tenemos para los recibos, por lo menos. Right? <laughs> and if we don't have money, what happened? Nos corren de la casa, right? Se nos, cortan, life, nos cortan la energía and everything. Uh, exactly, right? It's our life and everything. Okay. So, that's an obligation. Ok, entonces más o menos con ese tipo de situaciones así podemos comparar esta estructura. O como cuando los estudiantes van a una escuela. Y lo vamos a poner de este modo, una escuela privada. ¿Por qué una privada? Porque en una pública a veces los estudiantes van como quieren. Uh, what I'm trying to say is like, ¿qué tipo de obligaciones tienen en ese tipo de escuelas? Los estudiantes, por ejemplo, siempre, siempre tienen que usar el uniforme. Entonces, ahí, aquí estamos, ahí básicamente estamos expresando una obligación, un cierto grado de obligación, que sí o sí, un grupo de personas tienen que cumplir ciertas reglas. All right? Entonces, ahí podemos utilizar esta estructura también de obligación. ¿Existe otra forma de mencionar una obligación? Claro que sí, posiblemente ustedes ya la han oído mentar. Must. El verbo must. De obligación. Bueno, si no lo han oído mentar, créanme, más adelante eh, se va a ver un módulo en el cual ustedes van a ver los llamados moral verbs. Right? Y que ahí vamos a, a discutir ese, ese tipo de verbos, que es más que todo para obligaciones legales. Right, but no vamos a, a, a guardar mucho el tema acá. Okay, we got a series of examples. Take this out. Aquí, básicamente tengo un ejemplo por cada una de las funciones que tiene ahí. Okay, have. So, check this out. If you take a look in here, we got the first one. Wilbur, help me out reading the first example. This answer has to be correct. Okay, this answer has to be correct. ¿Qué estamos expresando ahí? Eh, que tenemos la respuesta o que es la respuesta correcta. All right, so Con certeza. in that case, exactly. En ese tipo de situaciones, aquí en este tipo de oraciones, this answer has to be correct. Estamos expresando certeza. Ah, esta respuesta debe ser la, eh, eh, tiene que ser la correcta, ¿ok? Entonces ahí estamos de, denotando no obligación, no necesidad, sino un grado de certeza de algo. All right. So, in that case. En tercera case, persona. Hola. En no, ahí va a depender. Ahí va a depender, pero, pero es que ahí es tercera persona porque estamos hablando de que de una respuesta de algo, ¿ok? Entonces, no hablamos de una persona, sino que más Como bien de tal. algo, exactly, de, de algo en singular, que en este caso es la respuesta de algo. All right? Uh -huh. Puede ser una respuesta de un examen, for example, right? Entonces, por eso es que está en singular, right? Si tuviera ahí the answers con S, entonces ya no va a ya va a have, ¿ok? Y no podría ser, uh, could be it, it. Pero si pone it, mister, no vas a ver de qué está hablando. Supongamos que en la respuesta tenga ahí, it, 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 no, no, tampoco. No, recuerde, es como que yo le diga, Wilber, he, Wilber has to go to work. Wilber, he has to go to work. ¿Tiene sentido? No. Porque lo estoy duplicando, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Le estoy poniendo el nombre propio y luego le estoy poniendo un pronombre. Entonces, si ponemos it y ponemos answer, sucede lo mismo. Porque it lo que hace es sustituir la palabra answer. Uh -huh. 
Ok. okay. Entonces, pero el it solo se conoce, o oh, I mean, solo se coloca, recuerde, Vemos cuando ahí, ya, 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 usted y yo sepamos de lo que estamos hablando. Mientras no se puede, porque si yo en la respuesta acá tengo it has to be correct. Tiene que ser correcto, pero pero, que ser pero el correcto, qué? qué? Exactly, el qué? Ah, oh, ok. ¿De qué se está hablando? Entonces no entenderíamos, a menos que ya previamente eh, eh, estemos eh, discutiendo el tema en sí, ok? Entonces okay. ahí sí ya podemos sustituirlo por it mientras. Ya sabemos no. que es la, la respuesta. That's correct. That's correct. Okay. 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 Yeah. Good. So, entonces acá expresamos cierto grado de certeza. Now, what about the second one? Take a look at the second one. Leticia, help me reading. I have to finish the workbook before the exam. Okay, mm. good. Thank you. I have to finish the workbook before the exam. In, what, in, in this situation, what are we expressing? You see, necessity. La necesidad de hacer algo, right? Para conseguir algo adicional. So in this case, we are expressing a necessity, right? And what about the last one? The, the one that we have to pay more attention in this case that expresses obligation. Uh, let me see. Anna, help me out reading. Okay, teacher. They have to leave early. Okay, good. They have to leave early. So in that case, what are we expressing in this case? Obligation. Okay. Tienen que salir temprano. Exactly. Tienen que salir temprano, right? ¿Quiénes? No se sabe. Ahí solo dice they, right? Pero solo estamos hablando de un grupo de personas. Ok. Good. So in that case, we are talking about obligations. Remember. Right. Good. So I'm going to place. Give me one second. Ok. I'm going to give you some extra examples for you guys to understand better. So I'm going to move on. Ok. In here. We got have to and has to. But before moving forward with the examples, I will show you the structure or, uh, you know, like the correct form of the sentence. And this is the structure. Check that out. We got a subject. Okay, remember the subject, it can be any pronoun like are you, he, she, he, we, you, they, or a proper noun like. Uh, like uh, Elizabeth, like Liliana, whatever, right, person you might be talking about. Uh, plus, have to, okay, listen, have to or has to. Remember, you are, you have to use has to with he, she, it, and singular nouns, and have to with I, you, we, they, and plural nouns, right? Right after that, you need a main verb. Remember, main verb, o sea, el verbo principal, plus a complement at the end. So take a look at these examples over here. Isabel, help me read in the first one. Teacher, yes, yes. Can you repeat the when use has to? Okay, uh, I, I am going to write it down over here. Give me one second. Give me one second. I'm going to put them in here. Check this out. I'm going to put it in here. Look at this. Have to, it's used with I, you, we, they, and Plural nouns. Plural nouns, ¿ok? Teacher. Recuerden que hablamos de plural nouns cuando mencionamos dos personas, dos o más personas, ¿ok? Uh, teacher. Alguien... Yes. Sí, teacher, o sea que en el, en el ejemplo anterior, this answer, answer has to be correct solamente con, si hubieran sido estas respuestas o solamente con agregar la S, 
eh, el has to se convierte en have to. Correcto. Correcto. Solamente con ponerle la, la, la S, la answer. La S, la S y modificar el this para plural. Dos. This. Va, miren. This es Dos. esto, esto o estos. I mean, esto o esta. This es This. estos o estas. Entonces, ah, okay. para el plural es este y para el singular es este. Ok. okay. Yeah. This. This. Exactly. So, in this case, we got like this. Have to is mostly used with I, you, we, they, and plural nouns. Recuerden, cuando hablamos de plural nouns, es como cuando yo digo mm, Freddy's and Miguel. All right. Aquí yo estoy mencionando ya dos personas. Ok. You got it. Now, has to. When do I have to use has to? With he, she, it, and singular, singular noun. Aquí ya solo con mencionar a que Freddy. Ya basta. You see? Only one person. Ok. Y obviamente no solo nombres de personas. Pueden ser animales. Pueden ser de, de, de cosas. Right? Remember that. Que representen un singular. Good. Entonces en estas situaciones acá. Eh, Rudy. Es cuando usamos has to y have to. Aquí. Ok. Thank you teacher. Ok. Good. Let's continue. I'm going to put this one over here. Isabel, read the example. I okay, okay. I have to wear uniform in the work in my work. Okay, good. I have to wear uniform in my work. Wear uniform in my exactly. Work. Hay ciertos eh, lugares de trabajo en los que sí o sí es necesario que vayan con uniform, vayan uniformados, right? Entonces, ¿qué es eso? Eso es una obligación, right? It's part of your job. It's an obligation that you have to accomplish. So in that case, you can use have to, right? Expressing obligation, you see? Good, what about the next one? Let me see. Isabel, deme el siguiente participante. Me lea acá. Javier. Siempre me aparece primero, lo siento. ¿Por qué siempre le dice el tercer nombre? Y yo así como, ¿quién es Javier? Y yo así como que, y yo así como que, ¿quién es Javier? Es que hay mucho francés. Va a ser mejor Javier. Ok, all right. You have to meet with the clients. Ok, good. You have to meet with the clients, right? Te tienes que reunir con los clientes. So you see, what are we expressing in this case? Obligation, right? That case is obligation. Good. Javier. <laughs> I'm not going to accustomed to tell you Javier, man. Tell me the next participant to read the next sentence. Um, Evelyn? Evelyn. Yes. She has to make calls every day. Okay, very good. So she has to make calls every day, right? Like, ella tiene que hacer llamadas todos los días. You see, in that case, because we are using she, we got has to, no have to, okay? Has to. Two. So keep that on mind, okay? Next. Erling, tell me one name to, to read this information. Carmina. Okay, Carmina. He has to talk a lot. Okay, good. He has to talk a lot. All right. Él tiene que hablar mucho. Very good. Carmina. 
Tell me one name. Elizabeth. ¿Cuál de las dos? Uh, Lick Elizabeth. We had two Elizabeth. The lawyer. Flores or Catota? Dijo Flores porque dijo Lick. Flores. Ah, la, la Lick. Carmina. La, la Lick. Mauricio has to make up early to go to work. <laughs> okay, there you go. Thank you. Mauricio has to wake up early to go to work, right? So in that case, we're talking about a third person, right? Mauricio. You see? That's a third person. Good. So that's why we got has to. No. Has to. And then wake up. Que wake up en este caso sería el verbo principal. Ok, recuerden que después de esta estructura del have to o has to, sí o sí, tiene que ir el verbo principal en la oración y ya sea en tercera persona o, o en cualquier singular, el verbo principal no se va a modificar. ¿Alguien me podría decir por qué el verbo principal no se le va a agregar S, E, S o I, E, S en este, en este tipo de estructura? Because uh, have or has, has is for third person. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yes, it's because the structure have to or has to. Aquí básicamente están funcionando como parte de un auxiliar. Por lo tanto, el que se modifica es esa estructura. Have to or has to. Right? Ahí ya se modifica. Entonces ya no hay necesidad de que se modifique el verbo principal. Porque ya no sé. hay un verbo modificado anteriormente. Si no se duplicaría, ¿verdad? Exactly. O sea, la estructura como, como tal y, y el verbo. That's correct. Caso. That's correct. And the sentence is not correct that way. Ok. Good. So, let's move. I think I'm gonna put you to 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 go through. Good guys. Until here, do you have any question? Do you have any question until here? Yes, yeah, teacher. All um, right. <clears throat> all the examples are obligations. Yeah. Oh, okay. In this in this in this ones that we got in here, yeah, all of them are obligations. Okay, because if, because if, if I say Mauricio has to wake up early to go to work, that's an obligation, right? That, that person has to wake up early. Good. Like, he has to talk a lot. Él tiene que hablar mucho. Posiblemente esté en algún tipo de presentación en la que sí necesita explicar muchos puntos. She has to make calls every day. Parte del trabajo posiblemente es una secretary o trabaja en uh, customer service. Um, you had to meet with clients, right? That's part of an obligation also, right? And I had to wear uniform to my in my work. Well, it's part of an obligation. Yeah. So indeed, all of them are obligations in this case. Good. And that one is just using have to, okay? There you go. Para no extendernos mucho, porque si tenemos bastante información, ¿Podrían mencionarme una obligación que ustedes tengan en su trabajo? En la que ustedes digan, tengo que hacer esto, sí o sí. Can you tell me, guys, any kind of obligation that you have in your, in your job? You can take notes about that. Sí, sí, al final. You can take notes about that and then uh, open up your microphone and tell me. I have to open my business. I had to open my business. Yeah, right. That's an obligation, right? Good. Yes. There you go. Yeah. I have to review uh check the attendance. Okay, oh. very good. That's an obligation that you got. Nice. Yeah. I have to meet with my my teamwork. Ah, okay. my work team. Uh -huh. Okay. Teamwork. Yeah, I mean that's okay. Nice. Daily report. Uh, repeat again. Sorry. 
I didn't listen. Prepare daily report. Ah, prepare daily report. Okay, good. I like your 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 voice very strong like that. Like, yeah. Le voy, le, voy, le voy a dar un punto si me dice. No, no, no. Forget about that. Okay, who's next? Thank you for your question. I mean, your your participation. Who's next? Teacher, yo tengo una pregunta, pero la voy a hacer toda en español. Um, Esto es dependiendo eh, el escenario en el que la persona lo esté diciendo y cómo la persona lo está entendiendo en todo caso. Porque yo podría decir, eh, I need to wear a uniform in my work. Ah, pero yo. Pero en that case es a necessity, porque ya inclusive ahí ya está cambiando la estructura, ya no es have to, sino need to. Exacto. Necesario. Pero entonces eh, es como que como eh, el, el escenario en el que nosotros lo vayamos a utilizar no es que como la obligación de la estructura tal tal cual usted la está mostrando, sino que el escenario. Exacto, exacto. Aquí solo estoy usando el have to como obligación, luego vamos a ver el need to como necesidad, que ya es algo muy diferente. Recuerden, una cosa es obligación y la otra pues ya es una necesidad. All right? Ok. There you go. Thank you. Cool. Who's next? Me, teacher. Okay, I Mister. Have to call execute sales. Okay, very good. Hey, Lig, what about yours? Ah, ya ven que no me entiende así, Elizabeth. With yours? Yes, tampoco. Mrs. Fisher, Mrs. Flores, can you please read yours? No, teacher, excuse me. And <laughs> um, yes, please repeat the, the question. Please. Can you read the sentence that you wrote about your obligation and your job to me, please? My job. Mm. Give me no obligation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have to. Uh, ¿Cómo sería? Write the legal document. Repeat, repeat what you said, please. I. I have to. <laughs> Ah. I have to write the legal document. Legal document, okay. Mm. But I have escuchado un has to. You see, has to. Okay. what? No. <laughs> okay. The there you go. <laughs> okay, good. Who's next? I have to get there early. Okay, very good. Me, teacher. Okay. Let's go, Miss. Mm, I have two meetings every week. Ah, okay, good. But give me give me one second. Repeat, repeat that. I think we're missing the verb. Um meeting? No, 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 no. Back back the whole sentence, please. Toda la respuesta, please. Toda la I have sí. to I have to meeting every week. Si dice reuniones, tiene que cambiar. Ajá. Mire, pero la oración la oración está correcta. Ajá. Pero ya el have no está como obligación, sino de mm. tengo dos reuniones a la semana. Uh -huh. Entonces ahí lo que necesitamos es un verbo después del to. Porque Give me one second. Ajá. Usted lo, tiene, usted lo tiene así, ¿verdad? Confírmeme, por favor. I have to... ¿Así? ¿O no? Termina. Ya 
Mina Lau. Yes, teacher. Así lo tiene. Sí. Yes. Va, va. Lo vamos uh -huh. a hacer. Every week. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí. Yes. ¿Usted eh, eh, asiste a las reuniones o usted las organiza? Uh, o ¿Cómo no. es la cosa? Mm, tengo esas reuniones, asisto a ellas. Ajá, no las organizo. Esas no. Ah, entonces asiste a esas reuniones. Yes. Va, entonces para hacer esta oración una obligación, tenemos mm -hmm. que poner un verbo después de acá, mira, después del tú. Ok. Attend. I have to uh, attend. Attend. Ok. Exactly. Es por la, por la palabra reuniones, ¿verdad? Que va es, que, ajá, es exactly. por eso. Ajá. Exactly, porque aquí. Y reuniones palabra, no es un verbo. Exactly, es un nombre. Por uh -huh. eso necesitamos un verbo acá. Y en este caso sería el verbo attend. Ajá, yo tengo que atender reuniones cada semana. Ok, thank you. Uh, attend de hecho es asistir o sea oír ir a la reunión ok there you go nice thank you uh, Anna uh, ok who's next I have to answer the phone every day you have to answer the phone every day ok good nice Evelyn I have to finish my job on time. Ah, okay, good. You have to finish your job on time. Good, good. Thank you. Who's next? Elisa I have Wright. to work every day. In chat. I have to work every day. Okay, good, good. Who's, who's in the chat? Let me see. I have another start a serious obligation to go to work. Uh, give me one second. I have another start a serious obligation to go to work. Eh, quise poner como obligado a trabajar uno. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, 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 pero en, en ese caso ya solo con decir así, mire, I have to go to work, ahí ya es una obligación, All right? y ahí ya usted está expresando, tengo que ir a trabajar porque es una obligación, right? and that's part of it, Jesus Christ. But anyways tipo 5 en la mañana y Dios dame un motivo para ir a trabajar y Diosito ya la like, sos pobre ah ok ya con todo ok, okay good uh, who's next Leticia did you participate already yeah ah ok good good dije mm -hmm. I have to get there every ah ok good good <laughs> Rudy, did you participate already? Um, I have to clean my work area. Work area, okay, good, good. Uh, Liliana, did you participate already? I don't remember. Lily, Ana, Laura, Teresa, are you there? Yo creo que no me escucha. Liliana, are you there? Yeah. Ah. Hey, 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 can, oh, oui. can, can, can you read what you have in that? Your, your, your example. Pero. Esperan, permítanme. Si cuatro trabajadas, Buenas noches. Es que estaba trabajando, pero dígame, ¿qué me dijo? Ah, ok. Si estás trabajando, ¿realmente? 
¿Qué me dijo, teacher? No, do, do you have the example using have to? El, el que le dije. ¿Qué me lo dijo? ¿Really? ¿Qué el, le, ejemplo, le... El, el ejemplo, usando have to. ¿Qué, Por qué eso, dice? yo le dije I have to work every day. Really? I don't remember. Okay, thank you. Por eso le preguntaba. Por eso le, por eso le preguntaba si había participado. Solo me ha dicho, yes, teacher, that's it. Teacher, entonces es como bien parecido los eh, eh, imperative What? command a esto, solamente que se les está cambiando el please por el I have to, porque digamos. Otra forma de decir una oración que yo hago en la oficina sería I have to prepare the checks for the playroom. Y si alguien me está dando una orden sería prepare the checks for the playroom, please. ¿Mm? Yes, lo único que una es, lo un, una es una orden y la otra es una Ajá. obligación, o sea. Pero es como solamente como uh, ir jugando con ese rol, como dijo el compañero, ¿verdad? ¿En qué momento o, o cómo that's usarlo? Correct. That's okay. correct. Exactly, exactly. Ok, good. Let's move. Because we're kind of behind. Give me one second. Y eso es lo que dije. Lo que hago que le dije. Ah, ah. No, yo pensé que estaba preparando un comando ahí, todo poderoso ahí con el que 10 4 vamos a caerle al teacher. Yo como que no. Ok, good, let's go. Me too. Ok, now. We have set up the uses of have to. Ok, now we're going to go into need to. When do we use need to? As I was saying before. In here, we use need to, to express obligation, uh, no, not obligation, necessity, necessity to do something, right? Aquí es cuando ya expresamos una necesidad, all right, de hacer algo. Ya no es más una obligación, sino una necesidad, okay? Good. Take this out. The structure. Basically, the structure is pretty similar to, to the structure in have or has to. The only difference in here is that in third person, you add the S to the verb need. All right. That's the only difference. Right. So for first person is need to. For third person is needs to. All right. That's the only difference in comparison to the other one. And take a look at this example. Evelyn, help me reading. I need to do my chores every day. Uh, okay, chores, chores. Sure. Okay. All right, good. I need to do my chores every day. Good. Aquí ya no vemos esto de hacer el aseo como una obligación, sino más bien como una necesidad, ¿ok? Como dijo, creo que Ma Miguel, I think it was Miguel, o oh, Will, I don't remember, que dependiendo del punto de vista en cómo, en la situación, en cómo lo veamos, así va a expresar, ya sea una obligación o una necesidad, ¿all right? Si lo vemos desde el punto de que, ay, qué... Puedo hacer limpieza, so I have to do the cleaning. So that's an obligation, right? That's an obligation of, o si, si, si la persona que está con usted, ya sea la esposa, el esposo, o papá, mamá, whatever, les dice, all right, you have to do the cleaning, like tienes que hacer el aseo. So you see, in that case, that's obligation, right? Cuando se convierte en necesidad, cuando ya tenemos todo bien sucio, digo, ah, man, I need to do the cleaning, right? It's like, ah, no, no, ten, no quiero tener esto sucio, sino que necesito hacer el aseo. So, ahí ya se convierte no una obligación, sino una necesidad, right? Depending on the point of view. Good. Pero para eso tenemos las dos estructuras. Remember, remember, have to, obligation, need to, necessity, okay? 
ta, 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 ta. Fredis, help me reading that one. You need to buy new clothes. Ah, okay, cool. You need to buy new clothes. Y aquí se ve más como una necesidad, right? Imagínense, ven a su teacher ahí que los, 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 las 20 sesiones con la misma camisa y viene Rafa y me dice, hey teacher, you need to buy new clothes for the class. <laughs> That is right. not because... That's not becoming, uh, you know, an, a, 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 an obligation, sino necessity. Y así como que para el siguiente módulo necesito que me paguen. <laughs> so you see, in that case, it becomes a necessity, okay? Good. Next. Let me see. Someone that has not participated that much. Karim. Help me a read in this example, please. Karim, are you there? She needs to write a new letter. Ah, okay, there you go. She needs to write a new letter. There you go. Like, ella necesita escribir una carta nueva. So you see? Good. Posiblemente la carta anterior no le gustó o se le mojó, whatever, right? And then it becomes in a necessity to write down something new. Ta -ta -ta. Let's go over that. Ta -ta. Ah, let me see who's next. Rudy. He needs to send the reports okay he needs to send the reports you see people ya ahí tanto she como he ya llevamos el need con el la s okay ya el verbo modificado la estructura modificada right but if you take a look in there pero si ven el verbo permanece en forma base el único que se modifica es la estructura right over there Nice. Javier, help me read in this one. They need to spend more time with their children. Okay, thank you. They need to spend more time with the children, their children. So you see, need to and then spend as el verbo principal. Guys, do you have any question with this? Any question with this structure? Alguna pregunta? Everything is clear. Exactly, it's pretty similar. The only difference is that one is obligation, the other one is necessity. Uh, someone? What does mean spend? Spend tiene varios significados. Es como spend, pasar más pasado. Exactly. En este caso es pasar tiempo, o sea, con, ya sea con alguien, en su trabajo, con su familia, whatever, right? So, y okay. también spend se refiere a gastar plata. Ah, ok. All right. Gastar. Spend gastar. A lot of money. Yeah. Exactly, pero ahí vamos a poner gastar en un buen sentido, o sea, gastar en algo necesario, gastar en algo que se Investment. necesita, Exa kind of, o como cuando va al mercado, right? Es algo okay. que se necesita. Entonces, okay. eh, si van a, a colocar una palabra negativa, ya sería waste. Waste okay. es gastar, pero de manera negativa. Aquí ya sería malgastar. Waste. Ya sea tiempo con alguien, como cuando termina con la, la ex o el ex. I waste my time with you. Like, malgasté mi tiempo contigo, right? Entonces ahí se refiere a tiempo o dinero. Malgastar dinero en algo innecesario. Como cuando, sure, vamos, but... al, cuando vamos al dólar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Hay comprar sure, cosas que no necesitamos. 
é, ah? waste means to basura, basura ou basureira? Waste basket. Sim, sí, aunque não, mais que tudo para basureiro é trash can. Trash can. É, é o bote, é o bote. É mais comum okay. trash can. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Aunque muchos le dicen waste basket. Ajá, uh -huh, waste basket. Poco, es poco común ese. Es más oh. que todo trash can. Ok, thank you. Ya. Yeah. O oh, si es recipiente de los grandes, de los grandototes, se les conoce como bin. Bin. ¿Cómo se dice bin? B-I-N. Ah, oh, ok. Bin. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Ok. Aquí lo escribí. Over here. Ok, gracias. There you go. De los que utilizan para clasificar la basura en all those things. Ok, good guys. A any other question that you might have with this structure? Something that might not be clear for you? Or oh, everything is ok, I'm still here. ¿Estamos todos claros hasta acá? I need to be more precisely with you guys in these things. Ok. Good. If everything is okay, let's go to the manuals. I'm going to stop sharing this thing and I want you to open up your manuals on page. Cha -cha -cha. Give me one second. Jesus Christ, give me one second. I need to. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I think we can do this tomorrow and this one today. Give me one second, guys. I use some in our numbers. Now, this one is. Vamos a hacer. Let's go to page 27. Bueno, es la página 27. Se preguntarán, teacher, pero ¿y por qué la 26 está la conversación usando have to and need to? Y no la vamos a hacer. La vamos a hacer mañana. No problem. Mañana vamos a... Mañana. El lunes. El lunes vamos a continuar con este tema. Son dos clases de este tema. El lunes es práctica. Ahora es más, you know, grammar part and, and, and some activities. But on Monday, we're going to dedicate the whole time to do the practice. It means conversation, extra practices with activities, and so on. Nice. If you... No estoy compartiendo, right? Give me one second. What is that? Give me one second, guys. Cha, 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 cha. Okay. Yeah, that's one. I think it is. Give me one second. Yeah, let's go to this page. We're going to go over this page. Like, look at this. It says, your turn. Write about something you have to or need to do these days. Okay. And here we got when, what time, where. Oh, this is like kind of complicated for you. What time? When? Listen. Let's do something, all right, in, in here. Este sí lo vamos a hacer de modo individual. Over here, at the beginning, over here, in this part. Escríbanme. Listen up. Escríbanme una oración de algo que ustedes tengan que hacer. O necesiten hacer estos días. Una sola oración. ¿Ok? Abajo acá me le colocan. ¿Cuándo? Me le pueden colocar el día en que lo van a hacer. What time? Aquí me le colocan la hora. ¿Y where? ¿Dónde? For example, les voy a dar un ejemplo. Check this out. I need to teach... English. 
Check this out. I need to teach advanced English. When? Tomorrow. What time? Pueden ponerlo acá en cualquier lado. At. Check this out. At 8 a.m. Where? And in here, I can put the place. Eh, vamos a ponerlos. You see? Easy as that. Si no quieren colocar el nombre del, del lugar o de la empresa, pónganle el nombre de la ubicación. In my case, like this. Y me lo dejan así. Okay? This one is individual for everybody. Okay? Let's do it right now. Because then we're going to work in pairs. Let's do it, guys. Let me know when you finish, okay? You can do it like that. All right. ¿Ya lo vieron? Okay. Lo quito. Cha, 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 cha. Deling. Let's do it. Let me know when you finish. Give me one second. I'm going for the charger for this computer. If you have any question, guys, just let me know, okay? Finish, teacher. Perfect. You want to let uh, your classmates to finish. Okay. Teacher, I think uh, finish too. Okay, perfect, perfect. Just let's wait for your classmates to finish. Finish, and... finish teacher. Okay, thank you, Carmina. Good. Finished, teacher. Okay, perfect, Evelyn. Somebody else? I finished, teacher. Okay, perfect, Freddy. Teacher, se puede poner también in my house. Yes, of course, man. Okay. Place in my house. Like, like, <laughs> like today, I mean, some, it was something really happy. I mean, no, no happy, funny, actually. I was, okay, good. Finish teacher. Perfect, perfect. Estaba con un grupo nuevo, inicial, super basic. In the other place I work. Un adolescente y medio divertido. And then it's like, Hey man, where do you live? And I was like, in my house. In my house. Yeah, man, it's like. 
Oh, another one. <laughs> like, la, la más común en, en, todo, en, todo, en, todo, todo, en todo el grupo. A veces, like, hey, where do you live? Estando en el, en el departamento, ¿no? dentro del departamento. Like, tu sultán, por ejemplo. Where do you live? En el sultán, teacher. Es like, es el sultán es el mojo. That's crazy. Okay. Everybody finish? Finish. Perfect. Really, I'm going to start with you since you were the first one to finish. La actividad, cuándo, qué horas y dónde la va a hacer. I need, I need to go to a training tomorrow. Uh, what time? At 8 a.m. Okay, good. Where? Super text Chachuapa. Okay, very good. Nice, nice. It brings me bad memories passed by Chalchata. Una vez iba para Chalchata a puro Google Maps y se me va el internet. Thank you, Rudy. You lose, teacher. Yes, man. Me he perdido muchas veces en San Salvador. Que a veces se me ha descargado el teléfono. Tengo mala suerte con todas estas zonas. Real. El jefe yo llorando. Por favor, me agarren el carro. All right. Good. Uh, Carlos, let's go. Okay. Hey, um, I need to get to work. When? Tomorrow in the morning. What time? At 7 a.m. Where? Uh, y la sal, sitio del niño San Juan Opico. Ah, ok. Evelyn, it's coming. Ok, me corrige si, si no está bien, Tuchi. No problem, let's go. I need to go to shopping. I need uh, to go. I need to go shopping. Yeah. Okay. Good. I am a center in San Salvador. Give me one second. Ah, uh, when? Center in San Salvador. No, 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 no. El, el, ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo? When? Oh, this Saturday. This Saturday, ok, cool. What time? At 9 a.m. Ok, good. At Center in San Salvador. Oh, ok, ok. Sí. En Salvador. Ok, nice, Evelyn, thank you. Elizabeth. I need to move on with the desk. Me salió bien así. No me entendió. I need to move on with the task. Ah, I need to move on with the task. Okay. Uh -huh. Um, Friday. On Friday? Okay. Friday. And my house. Yeah. Hey, el Congo. Hey, es que no se va a leer. But that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> okay, good. Um, Mrs. Flores. Okay. Oh. I need to travel in the next vacation. <laughs> I, um, what time? At 7 a.m. Where? Sometimes. <laughs> I 
What am I Sorry, man. I was expecting, I don't know, man, like like Mexico, or Europe, Miami Europe, Beach. Spain, uh, United States. USA. Oh, my God. Okay. Good. Good. I'm going to start the año, but I also need some action. Elizabeth, ¿qué es lo más lejos que ha ido Elizabeth? Um, o las dos Elizabeth. Las dos. Ah, Elizabeth. 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 Elizabeth.
Okay, teacher. When I need to do general cleaning tomorrow in the morning. Uh, what time? At 7 o'clock a.m. Where? In my house in La Libertad. Okay, very good. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Miss Leticia. Uh, Hola. Yeah, let's go. When I need to wader, wader. I need to wither, wither, <laughs> como de retirar. Ah, withdraw, withdraw. Withdraw, ah, uh, es withdraw. De un cajero. Ah, uh, uh, no, oh, pere, pere, <laughs> ya, ya le digo dónde. Withdraw es de retirar dinero de un cajero, por ejemplo, withdraw money. Uh, pero también puedes retirar otras cosas o solo dinero. Se puede usar para retirar. Ya, ya, ya. I need to withdraw on to a side. And what I at saying I am where in the insurance of Zacatecoluca. Ok, ok. Lo vamos a dejar de modo general y ahí lo. No vamos. era dinero. Ok. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Uh, you might be talking about medicine. Okay, that's okay. Thank you, Leti. Nice. Freddy? Yes. Um, I need to create people for the execute sales. When? On Mondays? What time? At 10 o'clock a.m. Where? In my work, Tigo. Mm, okay, there you go. Nice, mister. Nice. Hey, Isabel. teacher. Actually, I was about to tell you, Isabel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need to go the, to the dentist for my wait, waiting next week at 4, uh, what time? At 4 p.m. Where? In San Salvador. Uh, Está bien dicho. Yes, ma'am. Okay. okay. ¿Por qué se quedó así? Okay, no. Lo no. dije mal. I was, I was, no, 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 no. I was remembering <laughs> que tenía una cita también. No me acuerdo cuándo fue. Anyway. <laughs> qué bueno que le recuerdo. No, es cierto. Tenía que ir. This is great. Anyways. Thank you. Uh, Rafa. Okay. Um, I need to countersign the car card. Repeat. When? Need, uh, when tomorrow? Uh -huh. What time? At 9 a.m. Where? Sertras in San Salvador. Ah, okay. Good. Good. Ahora que dice se trace, man, es true, no he comprado el bonito chaleco. Ok, thank you, Rafa. <laughs> eh, let me see. Yeah, man, it's just crazy things. Javier. Ah, you see, yeah, I'm psíquico. <laughs> I need to buy tools. All right. Uh, when and on uh, Saturday, uh, what time? At 10 a.m. Where? In Freon or Vidri Lourdes. Nice. Vidri is better, man. Más barato. Yes. <laughs> it's comprobado. Yes. Me too. I got that mm -hmm. very right. Yeah, I man. Last time I was I was uh, buying a, a, a set to wash the hands and everything. And on Freon, it was like... It's expensive. Oh, hundred and fifty dollars the whole set and on okay. BP I found it in like ninety nine dollars. Really? Discount. 
<laughs> SOC, SOC. Okay. okay. Yeah, I mean, there are, there are things that, yeah, I mean, they are better. They are better. Okay. For light, for light the colors. Okay. Para gusto los colores. Nice, man. Yo fui la vez pasada por una ducha eléctrica y todavía no sé cómo instalar. Anyways. Oh, my God. Qué terrible que nadie quiera instalar cosas. Miguel. Mike. Miguel. Uh, sorry, teacher. I have two examples. Uh, the first, uh, I don't like it. But... <laughs> what? <laughs> Why don't you like it? Uh, yeah, no, I don't like it. Uh, the first example is I have to miss result or result uh, when monthly, what time before the end of the month, it were in San Salvador or in my work. The two example is yeah, this, I like it, is I need to buy and drink a beer. When tomorrow, yes. what time in the afternoon, <laughs> it were in the shop or in the store. <laughs> My God, man. Yeah, I mean, I wish yes. I could have something like 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 that. But you know what? In my case, así como todos que dicen, eh, man, es viernes y el cuerpo lo sabe, tomorrow I'm not going to work <laughs> and everything, blah, 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 blah. Yo no yes. puedo hacer eso, man. I, I cannot say that, uh, unfortunately. Just imagine. <laughs> Uh, yeah. uh, from Monday to Friday, I'm working with you guys from 8 to 10. Basically, I go to bed uh, at about 11.30, sometimes 12, depending on the internet. On Saturdays, I start working at 4 p.m., I mean, 8 a.m., and I finish at 2 in one place. Then I come back here in my, to my house, and I start working from 4 in the afternoon until 12. Really? Eight. Yes. And How on about Sunday, Sunday? And on Sundays, same routine. The only difference is that I don't work in the mornings, but I work from 4 in the afternoon to 12 a.m. Every day is work, teacher. So I cannot be like, ah, having fun. So, you know, I can find <laughs> I get fire. <laughs> but Man. ITN, but IT, the song, the ITN is, is <laughs> or something like that. When you withdraw bond. Sometimes, yeah, I mean, it's cool because I take it. Like, but sometimes it's like, I mean, I'm withdrawing, paying, <laughs> withdrawing, paying. <laughs> <laughs> Only yeah. for paying. Exactly. Es que no es, no es funny. Solo como, tome, aquí está. Ah, oh, vaya, aquí tome usted también, aquí está. Uh, like so, a like a point. <laughs> exactly, man. Exactly. That's not funny. Okay, good. Let's go over this. Uh you participated already, right, Carlos? Yeah, you did it. Yes. What yes. is missing? Karim, you're missing Karim. Okay. Uh example. I need to write some exams tomorrow. What mm -hmm. I at night I I am All right. at the clinic. At the clinic. Ah, okay. Good. At the clinic. Very nice. Good. I guess everybody has already participated on this, guys. Uh so I think that's one. We're gonna let it for um, yeah, we're gonna let this one for uh, Monday, because we're gonna do this, but in pairs. For Mondays, we're gonna do this part, part number five, and we're gonna go back into this page, because we're gonna uh, develop and practice this short conversation and then this activity. So basically on uh, Monday, we're gonna do more work. And on uh, Tuesday, we are going to do these pages that we have behind here, all right? So this one is just practice that we're going to be doing on Tuesday. 
in that case, we're going to be finishing uh, the week number two. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, it, it is it is not worth it if I send you to work in here in this one, in this ones. We're going to do it on Monday, right, uh, starting the class. Okay, good. Hey, do you guys have any questions with these topics that we have been discussing during this class? Something related to having happen. Everything is okay with that? Yes, everything is okay. Uh, okay, guys. Good. What about with uh, with the homework? How do we go with that, people? Como vamos con las tareas? This is always like crazy. So. Uh -huh. How do we go with the homeworks? Are we doing them? Yes, teacher. Vamos al día con las tareas. Yes, teacher. Tomorrow, teacher. I finish tomorrow. <laughs> ah, you will you will finish tomorrow. Okay. I promise. Me too, teacher. I, I will finish tomorrow. Ah, okay. Good. Yeah, because let me see. I'm gonna go over those things. Give me one second, just for us to have an idea about what we are going to be doing. Cha 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 cha. Okay, good. Let's remember, people, that you're working on section number two from homework six until homework 10. And I want this midterm to be done before Tuesday. Okay? Eh, les voy a pedir un favor. Este midterm que tenemos acá, esta parte acá, les voy a pedir que me lo hagan antes del martes. Y así vamos a estar exentos de... de, de de esto ya para eh, el martes no estar ahí sobre ustedes diciéndoles, mire, tenga, tiene, tiene que hacerlo, bla, 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 bla. estresarlos a ustedes y, y, y así no me estreso yo un poco. Ok, entonces recuerden que este midterm es básicamente una evaluación sobre los temas centrales que hemos estado viendo estas dos semanas. Ok, entonces, si ustedes tienen el tiempo de poderlo hacer este fin de semana, it will be perfect. ¿Por qué? Porque básicamente acá, guys, eh, el lunes vamos a continuar con este tema del have to and has to, pero a modo de práctica. Y el martes vamos a hacer un repaso de los temas centrales que hemos estado viendo, aparte de unas páginas que todavía no hemos terminado, que esas son parte, prácticamente de práctica. All right, que nos hemos saltado. Entonces, eh, en sí, nueva estructura, no vamos a ver. Entonces, por eso les digo, if you have the time to go over this midterm exam and finish it, it will be great. Okay, so in that case, on, on, on Monday and Tuesday, I don't have to be like calling over, right, over you. Uh, are you listening to me? Yeah, right? Yes, teacher. Ah, yes, okay. teacher. There you go. Okay, perfect. That, that, that's just uh, as advice, okay? Uh, ahí tómenlo como un pequeño consejo nada más para que así pues si ustedes se ocupan durante el fin de semana no, no tengan es que, que estar con eso, okay? Remember, the homework's over here. Creo que hasta ahora sí vamos bastante bien. En cuanto al uso de las tareas. Give me one second. Oh, la, 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 la. Yes. Thank you for the ones who completed everything in here. Let me see. This person is here. This person is me. All right. Yeah, everybody uh, have already finished this part. Let me see. Uh -huh. We got Sonia here and Wilber and this person is not here. Okay. In the case of Wilber, yeah, lleva un 
60% de 100 en la segunda semana significa que por lo menos ya tiene que tres tareas hechas de esta semana. Ok, cool. Sonia sí no ha hecho nada ahorita. Uh, on the spot. <ríe> no, pero ya me dijo que se va a poner al día este fin de semana, así que no. Exacto. Exacto, al igual que Rudy, lleva un 20%, Rafa ya terminó, das cool, Miguel 100%, perfect, Marvin eh, he got a 40%, My Leticia, ok, perfect, Leti, you got a 100% already, uh, María Isabel, 0%, le vamos a poner que este fin de semana nos vamos a poner al día, ok, good, uh, let me see, sí, dice Isabel. All right. Uh, Liliana, Laura, Teresa. Okay, perfect. She got a 100%. Karim. Okay, vamos bien, Karim. Me gustaría ver un 100 acá esta vez, okay? Eh, y okay. Hubo, una, hubo una que no me lo... No, no, no. Por eso no tuvo el 100% acá. Debo suponer que en alguna de las tareas no sacó el 100%, ¿verdad? Sí, es que la dejé incompleta. Ah, ok. Ya no, ajá, ya no, pero el fin de semana me pongo el día. No, me refiero a la semana 1, que tiene un 96%, que no, no completó el 100. Debo suponer que alguna preguntita le salió mal, por eso tiene el 96%. Sí. Ok, perfect. That's me, that's Jacqueline, no sé quién es Jacqueline. Iris, Daniela, ok. Ay, no sé con él. Ok, llegar a 100%. Eh, Freddy's, ah, no, si sí, tengo dos Freddy's. Ok, you gotta have the present, mister, that's ok. Elizabeth, Joana. Who's Elizabeth, Joana? Elizabeth. Where is Elizabeth? She left. Oh my God, this person hasn't finished this thing. Okay, good. So, but we go, we go over that, okay? We go over that. And uh, I guess for this weekend, we're going to be okay with that. Entonces, creo que ya para este fin de semana nos vamos a poner al día. Eh, como les digo, si pueden hacer esa parte, eh, se los agradecería mucho. Y así, pues, no nos, no, no nos estresan ustedes que yo les esté diciendo para el martes. Termínemelo ya. Y ni tampoco. Yo, ok, good. Entonces, eh, eso sería todo por esta noche. Creo que el tema fue bastante, digamos, eh, entendible en el aspecto de que no fue tan complicado el, el poder eh, desarrollarlo. And that's, that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool for everybody. So, I'm going to pass the attendance list, and that's going to be everything for tonight. Uh, Ana Carmina. Present teacher, me quedé okay. sin energía teacher, por eso salí de la reunión, <ríe> quedé sin señal. Ah, ok, no problem. <ríe> Un ratito no estuve. <ríe> yes, yes, ok, no problem. Augusto César, All right, no. Carlos Ernesto. Present teacher. Ok, good. Elizabeth Joana. Ok, ya se fue. I am, she was feeling bad. Uh, Evelyn Jamilet. Present. Okay, nice. Predis Eliseo. Present teacher. Okay, very good, mister. Freddy Ernesto. All right, is there. Iris Daniela. She didn't got connected. Neither Jacqueline. Karim Janet. Present teacher. Ah, okay, good. Give one second. Okay, uh, Liliana Laura. Good night, Miss. All right, Maria Isabel. Present. Okay, good. Uh, Maria Leticia. Present, teacher. Good. Marvin Oswaldo. All right, Marvin was missing, so. Miguel Angel. 
Present teacher. Ok. Rafael Alejandro. Present teacher. Nice. Rudy Alexander. I mean, Rudy was here, but he left. Sonia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Ok, good. Wilber Francisco. Present teacher. Ok, good. And we got the last one, Wilson Arnaldo, which is not here anymore. Ok, give me one second before we go. Give me one second. With Karim Lili Liliana, can we stay tonight with the 10 minutes feedback? Ah, que hoy nos vamos a quedar con, los, con el, la retro. Ok. Nice. Ok, good. For the rest, people, thank you for getting connected. Espero tengan un excelente fin de semana. Right? Igual, pero que lo disfruten y nos vemos el lunes. Ok. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. See you Monday. Good night, teacher. Bye -bye. Good night. Good night, everybody. God bless you. Good night. God bless you. Thank you, man. Isabel ya así como que, ah, got to sleep, Isabel. Ya, no, ya, basta, ha sido un día terrible, horrible, terrible, tonto. Ya. Hasta de luto, no, ya, man. No, que mañana es la piñata de los gordos, entonces estoy haciendo un poco. Ah, ah, no duermo. Estoy vuelta loca, no duermo. Pero mañana aquí bien fresca, reventando, <risa> ajá, comiendo. comiendo. Hoy sí que, ajá. Hoy me quería dormir. Y, ma y, mañana, y mañana dormida pegándole a la piñata y por pegar la piñata a un niño. ¿eh? Ay, Partiendo sí. el pastel, dando rebanadas más grandes. No, 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 Bye, bye. Ok, bye, everybody. Ok, just give me one second. I'm going to take out these people. Uh, 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 put in the waiting room. Okay, good. So let's start over, Liliana. Recordemos que este, esta retroalimentación es básicamente para aclarar cualquier duda que podamos tener con relación a esta clase o clases anteriores. Así que I'm all ears. Soy todo oídos. I don't know if you have any question related to this topic or previous topics. ¿Qué es topic? Temas. Ah. No sé si tiene alguna duda con respecto a los temas que hemos estado discutiendo, ya sea el de este día o el días anteriores. Este es un espacio para aclarar cualquier duda que usted pueda tener. Por ejemplo, en el level que está dando aquí ahorita es de Arlie. Al liebre, o sea, es igual, se puede poner en, en cualquier oración. Sí, hardly ever es más que todo para una actividad que por lo general lo hacemos una o, una o dos veces al año, por así decirlo. Ajá, que Dígame, se puede hacer once, one de blue moon. Ajá, que lo se lo puse el ejemplo. Exacto, este, dígame una actividad que usted haga por lo menos una vez al año, por así decirlo. La Got the Beach. Ok, usted puede poner, mire, I hardly Esa buena la tarea. ever, ever go to the beach. Look. O también puede poner así, mire, I rarely go to the beach. ¿Por qué? Rara vez. Por, porque rarely es lo mismo que hardly ever. Ajá, sí. Tienen el mismo porcentaje. Entonces, cualquiera de las dos es prácticamente eh, eh, lo mismo. Significa exactamente lo mismo. Right? Entonces, no hay mucha diferencia entre ellas dos. Entonces, en esta situación es cuando usamos hardly ever. Y si recuerda, siempre el hardly ever va a ir después del sujeto. Ya sea que tenga aquí I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. O un nombre propio siempre va a ir después de, de ese, va a ir el frequency eh, adverb, ya sea hardly ever, rarely, always, usually, sometimes, cualquiera de ellos. Pero el hardly ever, recuerde, es para actividades que casi nunca hacemos, bien poco. Bye.
Solo eso, teacher, porque, ajá. Sí, esa los, clase no está. ¿Ah? Ok, los demás temas, hemos, eh, ¿vamos bien? Bien. Han ido quedando bien claro. Sí. sí. Okay, I just need to see your grades. Okay. Give me one second. Oh, with L. Ah, okay, good. Ah, sí, usted con usted. Ahorita vamos bien. Eh, mi turma. Ya inclusive me hizo el, el, el examen. Very good. Vamos bien. Perfecto. Gracias. Gracias por. Okay. por sí, es la tarea. Por orden. Sí, estoy revisando acá y ya vamos bien con la tarea. Vamos al día. Me llega eso. Ok. Good. Entonces, eh, si estamos todos claros, si los temas han ido quedando claros. Ok. Good, entonces ya el lunes igual vamos a seguir con la, la parte de práctica de este tema que hemos estado discutiendo esta noche. Y pues, igual, cualquier cosa que usted eh, tenga dudas, no dude en eh, encender el micrófono y preguntarme, ¿ok? Para okay, eso estamos. Yes. There you go. Entonces, si no hay nada más que agregar, hoy sí la voy a dejar descansar porque debe estar bien cansado, ¿ok? Sí, okay, gracias, Tisha. Ok, there you go. Trabajando, aquí a las 11 salgo. Jesus Christ, le falta una hora todavía. Sí, voy a hacer reporte. Oh, my God. Ok, okay Liliana. All right. Thank you, Tisha. Bye, bye. Good pleasure. Ok, the same. Bye, bye. All right, so basically, uh, tonight, what we were discussing, it was just uh, the uses of have to has to and need to. Let's remember that when we use have to or has to, it's basically to express certainty, necessity, or any kind of obligation, all right? Uh, during this class, uh, we were focusing um, the uses of have to or has to with obligations. Let's remember that when we use this structure is basically when we are, uh, you know, it was like obligated to do something, to do an activity. Like for example, if I have the obligation to work, all right, or if I have a work, I can even say, I have to go to work. And I am representing there an obligation, right? Or oh, if I am a student and I am still going to uh, the school, I can say, I have to wear uniform. Why? Because remember, those type of things are obligations, right? And uh, the structure is pretty easy. Let's remember that in structures like this one, we generally use the subject plus have to or has to, okay? Remember the have to is used with I, you, we, and they. And has to is used with he, she, it. Oh, and in, in, in cases like with singular nouns, right? With singular nouns. Plus the main verb or verbo principal plus the complement or complement. Let's remember that. Okay, and we were just working with a couple of, uh, I mean, a couple of examples for the students to practice, right? In which they were sharing, uh, you know, like, like the pronunciation and they were also working and creating their own examples using um, some kind of activities that they have to use or have to do in this case in their workplaces, right? put in their obligations as a model of example. Then we were working with need to. And with need to, we were expressing that we use the structure to express necessity, right? Necessity. For example, if I say, 
I need to do my homework. So in that case, that is a necessity that I have for doing something, right? So in that case, that's like the kind of difference between these two structures. Have to is mostly for obligations and need to is mostly for necessities, right? So that's like the difference that we can find with these two structures, right? So by the next class, we're gonna be working, uh, we're gonna continue working with the same structure, but uh, the whole class is going to be focused mostly in practice, in producing, you know, like uh, activities and dialogues and all that. So it's going to be a very good class. So I wait for everybody to get connected and have fun in the class. See you the next time. Bye-bye.